we are going to learn about biotin which is a water soluble vitamin it is also known as vitamin b7 biotin directly participates as a coenzyme in carboxylation reactions in which it serves as a carrier of activated carbon dioxide structurally biotin is a sulfur containing monocarboxylic acid this is the site for carbon dioxide attachment and here it attached to biotin dependent enzymes forming a covalent bond with lysine residues of the enzyme after the attachment of biotin with carbon dioxide and enzyme it becomes carboxy biotin enzyme complex now coming to the biochemical reactions that involves biotin as coenzyme the conversion of pyruvate to oxaloacetate in the process of gluconeogenesis requires biotin in this reaction biotin combines with pyruvate carboxylase enzyme this biotin enzyme complex reacts with carbon dioxide in the presence of atp to form carboxy biotin enzyme complex this high energy complex hands over the carbon dioxide to pyruvate to produce oxaloacetate another reaction that undergoes carboxylation by same mechanism is the conversion of acetyl coa to malonyl coa during fatty acid synthesis then there is conversion of propionyl coa to methyl malonyl coa during metabolism of certain amino acids that also undergoes similar carboxylation reaction with biotin as coenzyme there is an interesting point here that it was believed that all carboxylation reactions require three components which are carbon dioxide atp and biotin it was later proved that there are some carboxylation reactions which do not require biotin for example some specific carboxylation reactions in urea cycle purine and pyrimidine synthesis biotin is widely distributed in both plants and animal foods the rich sources of biotin are liver kidney egg yolk milk tomatoes etc also a large percentage of biotin in humans is supplied by intestinal bacteria biotin deficiency is uncommon because it is well distributed in foods and also supplied by intestinal bacteria however if the deficiency occurs it is associated with two causes one is due to destruction of intestinal bacterial flora due to prolonged use of drugs like sulfonamides the second cause is high consumption of raw eggs as i have mentioned earlier that egg yolk is a rich source of biotin but the raw egg white contain a glycoprotein called avidin in the intestines avidin tightly binds with biotin and blocks its absorption The symptoms of biotin deficiency include dermatitis, glossitis, loss of appetite and nausea.